Welcome to Jink Play TCG. My name's Landon and here we play Jink. And today I'm showing off a brand new deck. It revolves around the Orthworm EX. And I said brand new and it's not technically brand new because it was in my live stream this last Wednesday. If you want to go check that out, that was September 25th. It was my birthday stream. Highly recommend it. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun doing that and Highly recommend you go check that out. But today's deck is about Orthworm EX, which I showed off in that stream. I'm showing off here in its own video now. Uh, Orthworm EX is an interesting card. Four energy, 150. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. Yep, that's that's it. That's it. No, it's not. I'm joking. Uh, it's got ability, pummeling payback. If this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it's not knocked out. Um, from your opponent's Pokemon, put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon for each metal energy attached to this Pokemon. So it revenge strikes, right? And in the live stream, I, I was able to send it into a sudden death. I forgot about the uh, defending Pokemon can't retreat, and I thought they missed their win con. No, they could, just couldn't retreat. So we went into sudden death. It was fa fantastic. I absolutely loved that but I, I i hear you asking how the heck are we gonna get all that metal energy on earthworm matang with the metal maker ability obviously where once during your turn you may look at the top four cards of your deck and attach a number of basic metal energy cards you find there to your opponent uh, to your pokemon sorry in any way you like shuffle the other cards and put them on the bottom of your deck and then I hear you asking, but wait, if we're attaching all that metal energy onto Orthworm, then it's get, just going to go into the discard when Orthworm finally gets knocked down. And Charizard can one-hit Orthworm. Heavy Baton. Sorry, let me do this. Heavy Baton. Heavy Baton is a Pokemon tool we are playing if the Pokemon this card is attached to has a retreat cost of exactly four is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Move up to three basic energy cards from that Pokemon to your benched Pokemon any way you like. Sure, it only saves three, but it's better than none, right? Um, let's see. I am playing one copy of Metagross just as an alternate attacker. Have I used it yet? No. We are playing, it's a three, three, one line, right? So we got three, three Matangs, and then that Metagross is in there. Just in case you're actually able to set up three Matangs, and you really don't need that many. One or two will get you fine. Um, you can evolve one to Metagross and start powering that up as a single prize attacker, right? Uh, we are playing Radiant Greninja for a little bit extra draw, and I threw in Genesect. I know it's a weird one, but listen... Uh, it's got the Ace Nullifier. If this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool attached, your opponent can't play any Ace spec cards from their hand. So, we just throw a Heavy Baton on Genesect, and then our opponent can't play their Prime Catchers, or their Unfair Stamps, or whatever, right? Um, I just threw it in here. It's a metal Pokemon. It's got a, it's a basic, it's got an interesting ability, and it's worked out fairly well, honestly, for me. Um, probably won me that Charizard match, right? Uh, anyways, uh, those are all the Pokemon in the deck. I know it's very little, uh, but we want to talk about energy. It's 15 metal. What were you expecting? It's just 15 metal. You could probably increase or decrease this as you see fit to fit in other cards. I found 15 to be a decent number. It allows me to have enough consistency that I like that you know, all that stuff, right? So, let's see. We've got three copies of Ultra Ball. Those are to help you find your evolutions, your Matangs, mostly. We got four copies of Heavy Baton to save energy. We got four copies of Full Metal Lab, so you're taking less damage, 30 less da damage. So, it's more like Orthworm has a HP of 250 rather than 220. One copy of Lacey, because I just had, like, one card slot available, and I was like, eh, Lacey. One copy of Hyper Aroma. This is our A-Spec of choice. I would not um, 
fault you for choosing a different a spec if i just wanted a card that i could search with arvin and then um search for evolution pokemon at no cost of my own and so this gets me my stage one so the most important part of the deck right we got four copies of super rod because a lot of energy will be going to the discard when a orthworm with a ton of energy gets knocked down sure heavy baton three energy but you've also been discarding with Radiant Greninja, you know, so super rods to get energy most most of the time back. <clears throat> Four copies of Iono, the Great Equalizer. Four copies of Nest Ball. Four copies of Arvin. And three copies of Boss's Orders. I did go a little heavy on Boss in this deck, mostly because I want my opponent to be stuck with certain Pokemon on the active, but also because... Um, since Matang goes through the deck so fast, you're going to be passing by those bosses or a ton. And yeah, it just becomes an issue. So that is Orth Train, as I'm calling it. I like that. Let's go ahead and jump into a match here. And like I said, be sure to check out that live stream. Also, check out the Discord. You know, the Discord's a great place. Uh, we're building a community there. A lot of great jank players are there. And we're just talking fun decks and uh, playing fun matches against each other. It's a lot of fun. It's super casual, too. Um, Tails. Tails never fails. What'd I say? What did I say? Yes, we want to go first because we are revolving... We are involving... Metang a stage one. We want that evolution if we can get it. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna throw a uh, Genesect up. <laughs> I'm gonna immediately throw a Heaven Baton down on that Genesect and just tell my opponent, no A specs. <laughs> but if my opponent is playing a Tropagos, I might be in trouble. I might be. I, I haven't played against a Tropagos with this. No, is it Diplin? Or is it Hydrapple? Ooh. Choices, choices. Enter. What if I Arvin for Matang? Uh, Arvin for uh, Hyperoma for Matangs, so I can start cycling through the deck, so I can hit 100 next turn. If they don't get a basic Pokemon down, that's what I'm doing. Oh, jeez. Is that what I'm doing? Oh, okay. Just made it a little bit harder for me to do what I just said I was going to do, I guess. Is that it? Is that your turn? Is it my turn now? Can I go? Is there something else? Something I missed? So Matang does have two retreat cost which does make it a little bit more difficult for what i'm looking to do um heavy pawn great uh arvin you know, we're gonna grab our hyper aroma and sure why not another heavy baton um i don't recommend doing this at home we're doing this for the lulls uh retreat bring up genesect hyper aroma i'm just gonna grab all of them remove them out of the deck that is the strap right now all right, um, I could return one energy. Why not? We're going for the donk. We are going for the donk. Come on, two energy, two energy, two energy, two energy. One! Oh, dang it. We missed the donk. We missed it. I attached it to here because if they boss again, then I want to be able to retreat. To attach and retreat sort of thing, you know? But yeah, I can't believe we missed it. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I might have to play another game here. <laughs> I, I, I might, as in definitely, we'll have to play another game here. This is bad. This is so bad. Even that didn't get me into a friggin' Orthworm? What the heck? Alright. So there's a Radiant for Ninja. I'm probably going to Arvin for a Nest Ball, get the Orthworm through the Nest Ball, um, going to attach to Matang, probably put up Radiant Gear Ninja. Um, well, I can Metal Maker first, I guess, but yeah, that's that's kind of where my head's at. And that means they're going to be able to play their Ace back. Oh no! Jeez, I don't want that. That seems unfair. Only I should be able to play an Ace back. 
Um, 30 for each. Uh, okay, they got me. And it's 30 plus, so that, that basically took care of the resistance. You know. I think you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Um, let's go Arvin, Nest Ball, Heavy Baton. Nest Ball, Orthworm. Just such a smiley guy. Rating for Ninja, Full Metal Lab. Sealed cards. Okay, I can go nest ball for another Beldum? Beldum. Beldum? Um Let's see, that's that. If I attach Retreat Put up a Radiant Greninja, Super Rod just three metal energy pack in, right? Then I met a metal maker. What? A complete whiff? Ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All that metal energy and I whiff? Jeez. The deck is like almost half metal energy. <laughs> At this point, 35 cards in the deck, 15 energy, one's in the discard though, so 14 energy. Uh, assuming that none are prized, right? About half of the deck is energy. 14 out of 35. Oh. I got a movie to go to after I film this. Um, the Transformers movie, super excited for that. Uh, my birthday gift sort of thing um so i really hope this either ends fast and we get into another one or it draws out and maybe i win hey who would have thought right it's a possibility that's a lot of grass energy holy cow i have no way to compete against this i really don't My body is tired. All right, let's take a look and see what we can do here. Top deck Matang. Oh, boss doors. Um, well, Iono first. Maybe that was a mistake, right? Nah, not really. Um, metal energy. We need three. Can we get three? Hey, we got three. Wow. That's amazing. I think they're in one hit ter ter territory. So I, I don't think this really matters. Sadly. Sadly. And then they'll hit me. They'll take some damage. If they don't knock me out, I'll hit them. Get the knockout. Um, but I will need another Orthworm, so I'll just Arvin for a um, Nest Ball next turn. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times three, 270 minus 30, 240. I'm knocked out. Yeah, yeah. This is a rough one. This is a rough one. There is an argument to... Uh, oh my gosh, let me just heal 30. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that really matters. If I'm able to actually... I have to hit four off the Metal Maker, basically. Okay, so... One, two, three. I got Metagross ready to go here. Um, I could knock out the Hydrapple. Huh. Feels like such a bad plan. And trust me, it is. <laughs> Arvin, give me that Ultra Ball. I have your ton, sure. 
Oh. Yes, it is in here. Good. Whew. I was worried there for a second. Um, boss and head baton. No, wait. Yes, definitely. Metagross. Not there. I'm going to throw this up just in case they play a gravity stone. But let's, uh, Lester, Lester Buster and get this knockout, right? Beldum. Dang it. I was hoping for a Matang off the prizes. But another Beldum's not bad. If we can get a Matang or two, Metagross could just, like, keep flowing, right? But Teal Dance is going to mean these Teal Mask Ogre Fonds are doing decent damage to me, right? So maybe I can get a Matang and an Orthworm ready to go, right? Like, that would be killer. See, so it seems unlikely for them to um, knock me out this turn, right? 30 plus, but minus 30. So they're doing 90 right now. Uh, no, plus two more, so that would be 150. Okay, so if they get an energy switch, I am dead. And if I'm dead, it's even less likely that I'm going to make it out of this. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Wait, why did it do 120? Oh, full metal lab down. Oh, thank goodness. Um, uh, Beldum. We're going to Ultra Ball for a Matang. Done. Matang. There's that. Let's Iona. We get four cards. Only four, but they get down to two. Oh, no! We failed miserably. That'll make her... All right, Metagross. You've never seen play in this deck before. But for some reason, when I turn the camera on, M Metagross is like, I got this. Watch it, you know? Although he didn't get the knockout. But next turn, Beldum, one energy certainly can. Jeez. I don't know. Cool, cool. I like that play. We get him a Tang. We get an Ultra Ball. How many energies oh wow that's a lot of energy that's a lot of energy um if i discard these two top deck and northworm come on no but a super rod that's not bad two done grab that northworm there's that Super Rod, Energy, just Energy. That's all I want. One, two, three. Metal Maker. Come on, hit it. One. I'm going to throw that on the Beldum. Retreat. Come on, Matang. One more time. Hit four energy. Right? Come on. Come on. One. Dang it. Well, if this one attacks me, they knock themselves out. Okay, well, you see what the deck does, right? <laughs> um, trust me, the match against Charizard was so much better. Check out the live stream. Um, I'll put a link. Or in the beginning of the video there will be a card thing that pops up and you can click that to go to it um, but yeah yeah. okay so they're not going to get knocked out um, because they switched so that's that's great that's great ah cool cool they just won anyways nice well played to my opponent 
I do not have time to record another match, so I highly recommend you check out the live stream uh, that happened September 25th on my birthday, um, where we had a fantastic Orthworm match that went into sudden death, and it was just so awesome. We won, too, so that was even cooler. At least I'm pretty sure I won. <laughs> I remember winning regardless of if I did or not. How about that? Um, but I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting me. It, it means a lot to me. Um, be sure to check out that Discord where we got some awesome jank players. Check out the um, the uh, my TCG player store, my eBay store if you want to help support the channel more directly with money and stuff. You get stuff in return, so it's not like you're not, like, you're just throwing money at me. Um, and, uh, uh... Is there anything else for me to plug? Not that I know of. But I just want to say, I really appreciate you. And of course, until next time, keep playing jank.